Okay, we have a couple more things to do to our air airframe before we can complete the assembly and install the electronics. One thing I need to do um, on the main wing, of course, we're bringing our, we've got our servo pockets cut out on the bottom side of the wing. So we're going to be bringing our servo wires in underneath the main wing. So I just marked a location on each side of where these servo wires are going to be coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Dremel tool and my uh, multi-purpose cutting bit. And I'm just going to make a, you know, a half circle divot, a groove right where I've marked where the servo wire is going to go in. And then underneath, I'm going to cut a hole just inside our cavity right here so I can bring in the left and then the right side servo wires. What I don't want to do is groove across that raised portion inside the fuselage because that's kind of the, the locking mechanism for the main wing. You know, it has a raised portion inside the fuselage and then it has a recessed portion underneath the main wing. So I don't want to groove that portion. I thought about bringing them, you know, grooving it all the way across and bringing the servo wires right down the center. But I think a better solution would be just to just to groove it in inside where we have our recessed area and then cutting a small hole on either side of that and bringing the servo wires in on each side. And that way it won't interfere with our electronics. You know, we, we won't be bringing them in underneath where we're going to attach our electronics. So I think that's a better solution. So let's go ahead and groove this up a little bit. Okay, so I know it's going to be hard to see, but I've, I've cut a little half circle groove right where I'm going to be bringing the wire in. And now what I'm going to do is try to come up right underneath it. I'm going to try to come in right underneath where that groove is and just drill a hole right straight through. And there we go. So we've got, we've got a hole drilled just inside the ridge for our cavity and it comes right through the center of where we made our groove. So that's all we're going to have to do for that. I'm going to go ahead and, and complete the other side in exactly the same way. And then we'll be able to feed in our servo wires before we attach them to the wing. We'll be able to put the servo wires in, bring our main wing in, and then uh, glue in our servos. So I think that'll work out the best. I will see you in the next segment. We still have the need to bring in the wire from our elevator servo and our motor because our motor is going to be mounted right on the end of the fuselage. My first thought was to cut a small channel at the very bottom of the fuselage all the way up to our electronics bay so that the wires would be completely hidden and then we could just cover them with tape but I'm kind of hesitant to do that because this, this one section, uh, the bottom of the tail section where the horizontal stabilizer goes in is a fairly narrow, thin piece of foam and that supports the bottom of our motor mount. So I really don't want to do anything that's going to weaken that. So my second thought on that is to bring the motor wire underneath or along the fuselage just underneath the horizontal stabilizer bring it down to the bottom of the fuselage bring the servo the elevator servo wire down to the bottom of the fuselage and just cover those with maybe a red tape and then take a drinking a plastic drinking straw not this particular one I hope I'm hoping to find a solid red one cut the straw in half lengthwise so you basically have a plastic half circle or a trough and use that to cover the bottom of the fuselage all the way up to the electronics bay where we're going to bring those wires in 
uh, red drinking straw attached to the bottom of the fuselage that way would blend into the fuselage because it would be red and it would give us easy access to those wires again when we need to if we need to change out a servo or we need to change the motor or something so and it would hide the wires and also protect them when we bring in the bring the glider in for a landing so I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that's the way I'm going to do it um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this straw lengthways and see how well it forms to the bottom of the fuselage and then we'll be able to just use some clear packing tape to affix that to the bottom of the fuselage cover the wires up and protect them at the same time and it, it'll be extremely lightweight weighs next to nothing so so that's the way I'm leaning on that I just haven't quite decided yet but uh, we'll be doing that when we install our electronics so all right, so that takes care. Once that's done, that will take care of all of our wire access into our electronics bay, our main wing, and our canopy. So all of our servos and our motor and our battery. So I will see you in the next segment.